In the Milkweed Characteristics Activity, you'll study how female monarchs choose milkweed for egg laying. Do they choose plants randomly within a site, or are there characteristics that make some plants more likely to be chosen? If you monitor with kids, they will learn a lot by observing the plants carefully, as they do in this activity. This is one of the most time-consuming MLMP activities, but is completely optional. You'll observe the same characteristics of two groups of plants, plants with monarchs and random plants. You'll use data sheet 4A for the plants with monarchs and data sheet 4B for the random plants. When you find a monarch egg or larva as you're monitoring for the monarch density, record it on the monarch density data sheet. Then use data sheet 4A to get some more information about the plant it's on. You'll measure random plants at the end of your monitoring session for comparison. The datasheet asks you to record several characteristics, all of which give us information about female choice of egg laying sites. Look for other invertebrates, like insects or spiders, first, since your presence and plant manipulation may disturb some of the invertebrates. You'll also record the species and height of the plant and note the presence or absence of buds, flowers, and seed pods. You'll estimate the condition of the plant looking at both the percentage of leaf material that is yellowed and senescing and that has been eaten by herbivores. Both of these are subjective measurements, but our goal is to determine how the plant compares to other plants in your site. Use the categories provided on the data sheet for percentages. Finally, you'll count the number of milkweed plants in a 1 meter square that has the focal plant at its center. If monarch densities are high at your site, if, for example, you find more than 30 plants with monarchs on them, you can stop recording their characteristics after the first 30 occupied plants. You can still keep looking for monarchs, but just keep recording the number and stage of the monarchs and the number of plants you look at on data sheet 1A, B, or C. Otherwise, you'll be in the field all day. Once you're done measuring monarch density, measure the characteristics of random milkweed plants on data sheet 4B. If you have a big field with lots of plants, you'll need to sample plants randomly. Randomly choose a direction to walk through your monitoring site. One way to do this is to stand at some point inside the site or on the edge and toss your ruler, butterfly net, or pencil up into the air. Then walk in the direction it points. It's important to do this randomly so that you don't subconsciously start walking in a direction with better looking plants. Consistently walk a series of 10 paces, or five if your site is small, and measure the closest milkweed plant to your feet. Be sure to look for very small plants. Avoid measuring a more noticeable plant if an inconspicuous one is closer to your feet. If you don't see a plant, walk another same number of paces. Record the same plant characteristics you recorded for the plants with monarchs on them. Be sure to record any monarchs that you see on the random plants as well as other invertebrates. Repeat the process until you've measured 30 plants. If you reach the edge of the field before you get to 30, Randomly choose another direction and start back into your field. Remember, this is an optional activity, but the data you collect can help us understand monarch egg laying behavior and dangers monarchs face in the wild.